Oh, oh, I'm here. I was listening to this song when I was like every part of that song and I'm Love Yourself by Justin Bieber and by everyone that did you know remakes of it and made Fuck Yourself and all that and I like this song either way I like it better when it, that you know the when guys like well you should go and fuck yourself because that's um, exactly the point yeah. People are too stuck on ourselves. And it don't matter, you know, who you are, how rich you are. You're not all that. You're just a human. Whether you have plastic done to yourself or not, dear, you're just a person. And um everybody's looks are different and body types are different. And as long as your doctor says you're pretty much healthy, then I wouldn't worry about what other people say about you. Whether you might look fat to someone and you're not, you know, because you're not overweight. Or you might look too skinny to someone, but then you're not because you get go to a doctor and you're not underweight. So, you know, just be yourself. If you have an eating disorder or something, it's different. Um, I'm not overweight and I'm not underweight too much now, so... That's what I look at. There's other health issues people have that causes obesity and swellings and like diabetes. People with diabetes and sugar are swelled like a balloon all the time. So don't let someone put you down just because of your looks. Now if you don't have a health issue um, and you're overweight and you want to lose weight you know that's what to do but don't let it be because somebody else wants you to or to please them let it be to please yourself i see nothing wrong with doing things to please yourself but don't do them to please everybody else in the world you know um that's my whole point there too yeah you know, actors and actresses and all that are fake people i just understand that and I think it's lame when people get a crush on a movie star or something because they're just crushing on, you know, their role, not them as a person. So, you know, yeah, they look cute, they're cute to look at, but, you know, it's better to know somebody as a person, whether they're talented or not talented, or, you know, all that. But, um, you know, love yourself. And, um... If you really are interested in someone, get to know them as a person, not for their work, you know. What time is it? It's time to and that's the whole point the there. So my thing, I put I only date band members, and it's because I'm a songwriter, and I only play people who are interested in things like I'm interested in, and people that play music are interested in songs. So, you know, and I also write books and stuff, and that's for real. And, um, just so you know, all my stuff is for real. But, um, what a funnier note, I just did a live stream. I hope you all got to see it, whoever got to see it. And, um, it was too was on to me. And it's so funny. Um, but anyway, and then at the end of it, I said, Go shave you dirty whores like I shave so fuck you <laughs> you know like that it was me talking to the, myself in here but it was funny um yes that's me um but anyway I hope you enjoy it if you got live stream and you watch live stream things you know look me up um through my Facebook that's on my RCA not my Facebook it's on my phone but on this one um, the Facebook is on my, my tablet. And I try to keep all that separate, but I can't because of my, um, Gmail account. My one I can't get back into since April of 2013, I said, but I was into it after that. But then it's still trying to, somebody has to. But my Gmail is sure real clear at Gmail. And I see. So my old one, all I shared is Little Wayne videos. So I'm a Little Wayne fan since I first seen him on TV, you know, kind of 
sit here holding my baby. Now this little teenager holding my baby and watching little Wayne. Yeah, I thought, wow, this dude is so cute. And I thought, wow, he's so talented, you know, and I like that. And I like the song, um, Fireman. It was just like, it was so funny. My chick can't react because that's where my stash is at, you know, I thought it was cool. Because, you know, I got in trouble in school for taking plot to school and this and that. So it was kind of a street rat, so it kind of hit me and it was funny. But, you know, that too. It's like, I like to know him as a person, you know, that's what I think. Not about, you know, of him being who as a, you know, artist, but about him as a person, you know. So that was my whole point. I like to know people for who they are, not for, you know, just their work. But I hope you feel the same way about me. You know, you get to know me for a person, not just, you know, it's just still my song or still one of my books. You know, I can always write another book and I always write another song. So, and I'm copywritten either way. So, um, you yeah, know, I enjoy that. And I am trying to relocate on account of everybody keeps still my mail and my stuff was hacking too and it said I spent all my money stuff to um, the landlord's wife which I never, I called him and said is that her internet, he said no, well I was looking on my neighbor's phone and I seen inbox messages where she was texting my neighbor back which proves it is her email, which proves I blocked her from all my internet, but um, Stuff does run off their Wi-Fi, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't care. I did not send her no money. Uh, the monies are mine. I'm trying to get all straightened out. I did turn it over to the feds, and that's the stuff I turn over to the feds. Like if I made fraud on the internet, um, somebody made a fake account and tried to tell me they were so and so when they weren't. Things like that really aggravate me. You know, I like the real people. I don't like all these fake accounts. Yes, I'll hook to some fan pages and stuff too, because I'm fans of some people, but I know that, um, the real person on some of it, the fan page stuff that I'm hooked to is actually on Twitter or somewhere like that, and they don't answer a lot of fan things unless they do a YouTube video or something like that, and they just answer everything at one time, but that's the best way to do it. Um, I answer with some comments, so I hope everybody just like, subscribe. Watch my live stream, listen to my extra. I play a lot of Kwon Jeong and um, Big Bang songs and Korean and K pop and J pop and um, social repose and Little Big Floor and things I play on there and stuff that I like. And I also talk on there about worldly things like frauds and all the same bull crap. But I try to just enjoy my life, go on with my life. I want to relocate so I can be closer to um things i really enjoy and things i want to do with my books like create more with them like hook to a producer or something like that so i'm working on that but anyway if you're interested in any of the love stories and stuff to make you know something out of those um okay hook me up call me don't be afraid to leave a message on my phone i do call back when you leave a message and not a messy like someone coughing or blowing or smoking my phone. Come on. Um, I keep getting this call from California and it's like, dude, just breathing in my phone. It's like, dude, leave me a message, you know, because I did try to hook some people there for other reasons. But, um, you know, maybe it was somebody doing a prank call because they see my thing on YouTube. I don't know if you did. I'm going to spank your little bottom. But, um, anyway. Um, keep watching, and like, and subscribe, and if I relocate, I will let you know, but it's taking a while to get an apartment because I do have two dogs, and that's part of it. Well, at least Diego gave you, and he's...